Yo, what up y'all, Intravenous here, back with another episode. Have you been watching the news? Because Todd McFarlane just came out a few days ago with a news update about the new movie. So, supposedly, the new Spawn movie is going to studios by this fall, and he's brought on Scott Silver as the director, I believe, and that's the director of the new Joker movies, Joker and the new Joker 2 movie that's coming out as well as a movie called The Fighter, I believe. What do you think about that? So, you know, this is a year kind of of Spawn, and um, we've reached the 30th anniversary of McFarlane Toys, and I decided to do an episode covering all the 30th anniversary Spawn toys. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and get into the first action figure. Let's go. <laughs> This is where we're starting. You'll notice all these action figures have this nice shiny gold label up here. And um, it says the 30th anniversary, 30 years actually, of McFarlane Toys since 1994. And it was the 1994 toys that got me into collecting these. And there have been a lot of stops along the way. What they've done here for several of these is they've brought back some older style action figures they've supposedly digitally remastered them and re-released them and first of all we have an action figure from a series that I haven't collected or shown on the show yet and that is from the Adventures of Spawn series which a lot of Spawn fans that I know of don't know anything about this they didn't even know it existed and that's it's sort of a kid-friendly spawn story and it uses more of an animation style like the adventures of batman you know the batman animated series is what it reminds me of kind of and, and here we have the adventures of spawn version of commando spawn originally released in 2007 it's not my favorite i'm just not really into spawn being like oh cartoony and blocky you'll see that uh he's you know because of the animation style here he's got like a little less detail you might say than spawn figures usually do um he's kind of chunky and square and pointy uh his he's got these exaggerated feet and shoulders and kind of a small head compared to his broad shoulders here and his arms and there's no shiny metals or anything like that. He does come with the Gatling gun, and uh, I get what they were doing here. They did actually come out with these, go with a comic series that uh, I think there was only two, and it might have just come out like in this two-part, you know, graphic novel type dealy. Uh, we'll talk about that more later, but. This is, it's okay. I mean, it's got the, those regular spawn colors, but he's got a Gatling gun and bullets around him. He looks very, aside from that and the grenades, I guess he's got like some of the little stash pockets and stuff. He's got a knife on the side. Doesn't really look as Commando Spawn-ish as, you know, Commando Spawn normally would, but they had to dumb it all down for this, this this series and so um, this is from 2007 like I said they do come with a little gold uh, edged collector's card in there and um, it's pretty cool there's no of course no clip and collects or any descriptions but uh, you see it's got some some artwork on the side and a picture of the character all set up with his weapons on the back and for what it is it's all right I can tell you that this is my least favorite out of everything we have here today. So, let's go ahead and get on to the next action figure. Here is a special one. Alright, now this... This actually wasn't a recreation, a remaster. Um, this is something that is based on the artwork of the cover of Spawn number 311. And it's got a uh, Chadwick... Bozeman dressed as Spawn there and they had done a cover dedication because this actor who played uh, Black Panther rest in peace he passed away and 
he decided to do a little tribute on the cover of that issue and then for the 30th anniversary turned it into an action figure this is a really awesome figure i like this a lot of course um it doesn't doesn't have a whole lot of moving parts or anything it is pretty much a uh, seems to be more of a statue but um that's all right you know i do like the kind of shiny metal dirty shiny metal chains and everything could you know it some would say that some of these figures could use a little more detail or like an extra layer or two of paint but i don't know i like it and you'll see on the back it just has uh, instead of a picture of the figure it's got an actual picture of that artwork from that issue 311 cover and inside you also have a 30 year gold edge card a collector's card in there to go with it the side same artwork he doesn't have any weapons or attachments they all come with like a stand to go with them but it is really cool and uh, I appreciate I like what he did here so um uh, what do y'all think about that? And by the way, I picked up all of these on Amazon.com. And they get to you like next day air. This was the one that was packaged the least well. They were all actually packaged well. They're getting better at it. But sometimes they mess something up. For some reason, this one, they shoved it in a little too small of a box. And this corner was kind of bent up. And there's a little dent there. But aside from that, you know, the packaging of these new figures, really solid. Great for hanging on the wall and great for staying in good condition when being shipped and whatnot. So what do you think about this 30 years of McFarlane toy spawn figure? I think it's really awesome, really awesome. I like it a lot. Let's go on and get on to the next one, all right? Okay. This I think is my favorite maybe of the 30 year McFarlane toy spawn figures, but it's kind of hard to decide. I'm pretty sure I like this one the best. And this is, uh, its original release was in 2007. This is the Hell Spawn that was based on the comic artwork on the, the cover of the issue for issue number five. And I really like the paint here, the style of the weapon, the style of the figure. I realize that it is a re-release and such but it's a good one it's a really good one you know people have their complaints but uh i like this one a lot and not bad you know 24.99 not bad at all free shipping and uh i'm happy i got it i'm happy i got all these if you know this channel and you know me you know that i was originally collecting just the older ones but uh I started collecting the newer stuff too, and of all the newer stuff, I kind of like this 30th anniversary stuff the best. Though I am kind of a, you know, I'm taken by that gold label and stuff like that. I like the good packaging, but in general, this is awesome. So you'll see, uh, this guy has um, a different type of Gatling gun, so to speak. He's got a detachable cowl, some moving parts, looks like his waist moves, and maybe his arms. I don't think his head moves and it's got pictures of the cover artwork on the side from that issue and on the back it has a picture of the issue of the comic as well as uh, the picture of the figure next to him and of course it comes with that sweet sweet collector's card with the gold edges in there and that's something to have as I said this is one of my favorites I wish they had clip and collects I mean you wouldn't be clipping it out of here Maybe there's a description on the back of the card, actually. I didn't think about that. But as far as I know, there's no uh, literature on here describing the issue and the character and why he's holding the gun at that time and stuff. But still, very cool. What do y'all think about this Hellspawn reissue originally released in 2007? Well, let's go on to the next one. All right. So the next one is the last. It's a double pack. And from what I understand and what I'm seeing is I've gotten now all of, these are all the gold label 30 year anniversary McFarlane toy figures for Spawn, yet they did have versions with Todd McFarlane's signature on them. And I wish I had those, but at least I got 
Todd McFarlane. You see, this double pack is quite unique indeed. This isn't a reissue of action figures or a digital remaster. In fact, this is Todd McFarlane, an actual action figure of Todd McFarlane. And uh, he also has an action figure next to him of the prototype image of Spawn. That's what Spawn was supposed to originally look like here. So he looks kind of like a mixture between Spawn and Spider-Man. And, you know, Todd McFarlane has his history drawing Spider-Man. On the back, you'll see that it has a picture of the original drawing. And it's got, you know, there's a picture also back there with him in blue. It would be really cool if they had a variant of this where he's blue instead of red. I don't know if they do. I would like that. This has a lot of parts. You can change the hands out. They're all fully movable. These are more like the regular action figures. Like it looks like probably 22 movable parts. You got different hands for Todd McFarlane where he's throwing a peace sign. Or he can hold a pen. He can hold a microphone. He can hold a sketchbook with the original sketch that this action figure is based on. You can even put him barefoot instead of wearing shoes for whatever reason. Todd McFarlane's got a Spawn hat on and some sort of Comic Con badge. Spawn shirt on and then we got Spawn it's Spawn but it's not Spawn because I mean you're looking at it I'm looking at it and it's like that's not Spawn but it's Spawn-esque it's really quite unique and I'm very happy to have this set up and that Spawn he has some of the green plasma there to go with him. So I guess his original plans were to give him the green plasma. Or maybe they just added that touch in there. They do have a blurb written here on the back. So along with the trading card that it comes with, which just seems to yeah, split in half, just one card. But but it's got uh, Todd McFarlane and um, also the original Spawn design on there. Halfway down. Uh, split down the card and we've got a little blurb on the back so let's go ahead and read that this original drawing was from 1977 that's way before spawn actually came out holy cow this is a quote from todd mcfarlane when i first created spawn as a kid it was more of a sci-fi story to me sci-fi means space space is cold cold is blue Many years later, when I pulled out my portfolio, I decided to make Spawn from the pit of hell. Hell is hot, so I played around with the colors and ended up with the Spawn you see today. So, it's the blue Spawn is like a cold Spawn. It's like, a, you know, the blue Spawn, that's almost like the beginning of Redeemer or something like that. The Redeemer was purple to begin with. So, I don't know, this is a... This is a great one. That's why I had a hard time deciding if I like the Hell Spawn one the best or not. Because though as far as the Spawn figure goes and the way it looks, and its colors and design, I think I like that one. But then this, you know, we got this original unique pair up and a Todd McFarlane action figure along with a version of Spawn that most of us never knew existed. I think that's pretty sick. So, you know, I don't know. What do you all think about that? What do you all think about these 30th anniversary McFarlane toys, action figures? They're also coming out with them for other things like DC. I saw a cool Superman one, I think, and Batman, something like that. But I don't collect that stuff. So, usually, uh, I kind of keep a little something special for the end. So since you stuck around this long, let's check out something else. Na 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 Spawn Man. That's right. I picked up the Adventures of Spawn that we were talking about earlier, and I found it in this. Um, I don't know how many ways they release it. I'm still kind of looking into this. I'm sure Spawn Hunter would tell us um, the Adventures of Spawn Director's Cut collection. I think it, I think this is the entire story they ever put out. I don't know if they ever really went into it. You look at the action figures, there's a lot of figures that are the Adventures of Spawn, actually, but there's, uh, I think there's only 48 pages of info, more or less. I don't know. 
please tell me in the comments below, especially if you're Spawn Hunter. We're going to read the back of here, and then I'm going to tell you that I haven't read this yet. I just got it in the mail, and I wanted to know what it was all about. I do know that in this story, they've uh, they've kind of retconned the whole origin of Spawn and made it had to do with some sort of, I think, something that he finds from space, like a comet magical power instead of coming from hell. But let's see what it says on the back here. It might tell us. One of the most powerful figures in comics made the leap from the printed page to the internet with the adventures of Spawn. An entirely new imagining of the Spawn mythos, envisioned and created in the streamlined, frenetic style of Saturday morning cartoons. In an all-new online format, Spawn, his allies and adversaries duked it out in weekly installments on Spawn.com, and fans of Todd McFarlane's tortured anti-hero eagerly came along for the wild ride. Now the circle of creation is complete, as the adventures of Spawn explodes onto the printed page in this exclusive volume. It's all collected right here for the first time and only time. You'll find all new content, including additional pages created expressly for this print edition, never before seen original sketches, an interview with the creative team that made it all happen, and much more. Pulse Pounding Battles, Betrayal and Revenge, Primates Gone Haywire. Open the cover and join the adventure as the forces of light collide with the forces of darkness. Former lovers become deadly opponents, and those possessing the relics of ruin control the fate of humanity. So, you know, uh, what do y'all think about that? I know we're showing some images of the comic while I'm reading that. And um, the art style is, like I said, very reminiscent of the adventures of Batman. They're saying, like, Saturday morning cartoons. I could see that. Um, it's cool in, in its own right. Like, it's cool that somebody did it. I didn't realize that it was something that went on on the Internet. Like, in these little short blurbs, I guess. And they put them all together and compiled them. Now we know. So that's why I like to do these little special things at the end, a little tidbit of extra fun and information, and thanking you for sticking around to the end of the episode. And now that we're here, thank you so much for being here. And if you like it, hit that like button, subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. It really helps me out, and it encourages me to make more videos. I've got a lot coming, and people are requesting a lot of Pokemon, so I'm throwing Pokemon in there. But never forget, I will never stop doing Spawn, and I've already done over 30 videos on the subject, so go ahead and check out the playlist, and until the next one, I'll catch you later. Peace out. That was just childhood, we were all there together, and in denial would play like it was forever, and in the tall woods, we'd stay out of the weather, like it was all good, every day we made it for pleasure, we were saying whatever came to our minds, plain and simple like a tetherball, reaching the sky, we were taking new heights, on the swing while it was making us fly, be the king of the hill, and everything will be fine, the thrill thrill of everything we would find, again the sense of a child, you can see in the eyes, when you're making them smile, or you're making them cry, we can take out our bikes and have